So we have a three news extra tonight on some folks that many of us take for granted. We just assume the men and women who get behind the wheel of tow trucks will always be there when we need them. But our Taylor Adonis recently spent some time riding around with them and she found out they often deal with lots of misconceptions about their jobs. Tow trucks, they may not be the most welcome sight when hauling away your car, but at the end of the day, they offer a multitude of different services. And tonight we're climbing into the cab to see what life is like for record drivers. She's not your average driver. Started doing this when I was 21. 26 year old Leanne Phillips likes something with a little more power. A flatbed record. It's basically in my blood. Phillips started towing five years ago. My dad has been a record driver since he was 16. Um, my grandpa, which is his father, was a record driver all his life. My grandma, which is my dad's mom, was a dispatcher for a record company. But she got her feet wet dispatching. Good for. I didn't think they were going to let me be a driver. I mean, I was a female, you know, and not not very many females do this. Six months later, she was behind the wheel, one of three women driving with the company. Once you're hooked, you're hooked. You got to be tough as nails. We're on call 24 7, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. My day starts from 8 to 5 p.m. And then after 5, we're subject to be on call. And ready at a moment's notice, even though they might arrive last on scene. We're there, you know, to get there quick as possibly and safe as possibly as we can and um, clear, the, clear the scene, open the roadway for the public and, and, you know, for the motorists to get through. They are still first responders. I like to think of us um, as backup, as the right hand man for the police department. Okay. Apollo Tron, can I help you? Stephen Pollard answers the phones at night. Okay. I'll put it in the system. Thank you. We get a PD rotation. That's when there's an accident, impounds. That's usually when there's an arrest. Uh, 18 wheelers rolled over. A rotation is when it's a certain tow company's night to respond to police calls. There are days where you're running 18 hour days. We miss out on holidays, we miss out on birthdays. It's both demanding and dangerous. We're on the highway right on that white line, right inches from that white line. Phillips says there have been countless times where cars have come close to hitting her. At the end of the day, I want to make it home alive. And there's a thing or two these drivers want you to know the next time you hit the road. If y'all see lights, y'all need to slow down. Towers ask drivers to treat them like any other emergency vehicle. And move over give us that room helping others while fighting misconceptions about what they actually do we're not the people that go out and hunt you down for your repos or you know go and hunt you down for a private property impound that's a big misnomer about towing we, we're not out there to pick up your car for no reason it's a thankless job it's really not easy the hours and all the stuff that we sacrifice um, even our families sacrifice, but they do it anyway. Well, I can tell you, they don't know how hard these people work, starting from the office and especially going to the drivers. I want, you know, people to look at us like we're, we're the family towing company. Taylor Alanis, 3 News. For more information, we have more on our Facebook page and our website.